any any institution is fair game and they're just gonna uh try to take over and not, not that these people necessarily care about classical music they, they really just simply want to see it fall mm-hmm. and it's that it's like what we saw with bringing down statues it's this sense of revenge revenge against christopher columbus for coming over here in the first place revenge against you name the founding father mm-hmm. for you know for not being good by today's standards um, it's that sense of revenge. It's not, they don't put up a statue of anything else in this place. And they certainly don't put up anything beautiful. They mm-hmm. It's just this, this um, hateful act against something beautiful. So there's very much a war on beauty going on. What's happening, everything you saw that happened in higher ed at the university level, which is the hijacking of the humanities. And now, believe it or not, they're even hijacking the sciences for as, <laughs> as um, in a sense, as a platform to simply enact um, political um, political projects to um, pr- promote, you know, uh, ideology, um, leftist, counterculturalist um, ideology. Um, it's the exact same playbook as being applied to classical music, and it's it's almost done in a. It's not. It's, at times, it's not even self conscious. It's just done because that's all they know how to do. They were indoctrinated when they were in college basically given marching orders you know, your job is to go out and and just overthrow just bring down you know bring down classical music classical music has to be destroyed in order to make it um make it atone for its sins it, it has to be punished it's just to we have to knock it off its pedestal and um and, whatnot. and, and you just you, you can't believe the things that are being done in on you know, in the in the classical music world, it's just it's it's just so ridiculous. And a lot of people get it. A lot of people, I mean, people are just, you know, uh, you know, the audience members are just aghast and like, what are you doing to me? I just wanted to hear a concert, and why are you turning this into? Because people come to concerts, kind of to escape the world. Mm-hmm. You know, they they, they want just some peace. They they got enough of um, the, the the political news cycle and the, you know on the, on TV. And they they're not listening looking for that, but that is in, in short what's happening to classical music. It's becoming a there are some there are many attempts to turn it into a political platform for for this, and it's not going to work. That's the problem. If if we were simply going to make money doing that and do well, I'd say, well, well, it's not my taste, but at least we're surviving. But no, it, it backfires. People are running away. The same reason we see universe people not going to the universities and people fleeing the public school system and fleeing and, you know, just quitting their jobs, not wanting to be lectured, you know, at work, you know, being, you know, being uh, canceled for, you know, for this, that, and the other thing. It's all the same games. The problem is that classical music as a, as an art form is, is fragile. I mean, we, it's an expensive art form. And if, if we start, if we lose even a little bit of our audience, you know, that could be it for us. That we we are seeing, um, there are orchestras that close their doors. There are opera houses that have clo- had to close their doors, and they um, they keep running leftward, thinking that they can do mimic the successes of of um, the political left, and they they just just take that same playbook and run it, let it run its course through yeah. the arts. But it it just doesn't work because art doesn't work that way. Yeah. It, it doesn't because if anything, it's, it becomes very cynical. People just roll their eyes and say, oh, here we go again. This is the same thing I heard at work and I, I just can't bear it here. And and I there's there's a, the art, the classical music used to be this wonderful place where the right and left could at least agree on certain things, which was the intrinsic good of classical music. It's just good for the sake of itself. It, not because it raises kids' test scores when they do it or not because it... Um, not not because when you you put a concert hall somewhere it it, it spreads wealth you know for five miles and, right but that is uh, a kind of like social engineering that that some people will advocate for right it's yeah. oh we'll stick a stick an orchestra in an urban ghetto and suddenly yeah. that'll improve social indicators I and mean, what do you make of that phenomenon it seems childish. yeah yeah g- generally there, there's a, a basic uh, thing we see with building concert halls is they take the the most undesirable land and um, Say we'll build a hall, but we're going to give you. We're going to put you in the in the part of town where nobody else wants to be. So you so you you'll transform you know, all these people's lives just by existing there, mm-hmm. and, and and it doesn't work that way. What's the, what's the silliest example of that trying to be done? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, some some of these examples abound. Um, I hate, hate, to, hate to name names, but the problem is it really backs up because people don't want to generally these are in places where people don't want to attend concerts mm -hmm. and so it scares off the audience mm -hmm. and then the people who Did live someone there, try to create a concert hall in compton at some point or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah right yeah it, it, it's always that uh, demand that you go that that it's almost like we were being um asked to atone for our, our sin of, mm -hmm. of being wonderful to um to the we the, rather than being having being an intrinsic good someone you know the, the demand is put on us okay but what do you actually do do you have to it, do there's this instrumental good mm -hmm. no, no pun intended that mm -hmm. you have you have to go off and cause something else to happen you have to cure you have to solve the issue of poverty mm -hmm. or um these things and it's it, it's not that it, it's it's this higher learning and higher function that we want to um, nurture among children from the very beginning and that that's where you know classical music has a role i mean in, in hearts are open they um we've we've seen in venezuela a tremendous um you know, a tremendous program for many many you know hundreds of thousands of children that came up through their else else statement these are the poorest children mm -hmm. and they were given instruments and they were given a a real focus in their lives and they um their lives were greatly enhanced and they went on to do great things and of course they mm -hmm. produced many amazing musicians mm -hmm. out of that program so that was you know but it was still music for the sake of itself it was it wasn't um meant to replace you know anything else it was just it was it was just this idea that great music would nurture people to become great souls mm -hmm. and um so we you know the this uh the the culture wars are trying to work it's you know uh Sol Alinsky said as much you know it's called the march through the institution so what any any institution is fair game and they're just gonna uh try to take over and um really it, it was it's not that they want not, not that these people necessarily care about classical music they, they really just simply want to see it fall mm -hmm. and it's that it's like what we saw with bringing down statues it's this sense of revenge revenge against christopher columbus for coming over here in the first place revenge against you name the founding father mm -hmm. for you know for not being good by today's standards um, it's that sense of revenge. It's not, they don't put up a statue of anything else in this place. And they certainly don't put up anything beautiful. They mm -hmm. it's just this, this, um, you know, this, you know, this very base instinct of, of, you know, of, of enacting, um, you know, this, uh, you know, this very, you know, sort of hateful, um, act against something beautiful so there's very much a war on beauty going on it's been we see it in architectural modernism and part of it had to, a lot to do with the bleakness and the utter depression after world war ii i mean there, it was it truly was profoundly um traumatizing for millions of people mm -hmm. and um i think we we see a lot of the the leaving behind of our, our best practices after World War II, either in urban planning and architecture or even in our education systems. Certainly, I, I get it. We said we have to do things differently going forward. But ultimately, the, the project of modernism, which you know came on the heels of, of industrialism, was a dehumanizing thing. And I think that's what was happening with um, you know leftist politics is it's dehumanizing um, our lives and de certainly de trying to dehumanize classical music in, in you know, in, in my world.